Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the sad BGM. But it's not exactly a sad day. It's gonna be explaining some lore. Um, speaking of, I think it's a little too sad. Let's change it up to something like, uh, something a little more chill. Just wanted to get in the mood, but you know, honestly, it's a little too sad. Not a sad day. We're gonna be talking about lore. Yeah, we... <laughs> is it, is it different? <laughs> is it, is it too, is it too much? <laughs> I might, might, might be, uh, <laughs> from a, from a one to a 10 right there. Bam. Well, um, hey guys, welcome to Verifery. <laughs> um, today we're just gonna pretty much just go over the lore. Um, I just want to first off say y'all y'all been cooking. Hashtag War Million was one of the most fun hashtags I think I made. Um, Daily Bear is super fun, obviously. Stars for Kaisha was beautiful, but I will say that Hashtag War Million I had an absolute blast um, reading through all of them. Today's stream is going to be divided into two parts. The first part is going to be just about I'd say about an hour, maybe a little more, uh, just reading through your lores because you guys were cooking. You guys been cooking so so much. It's insane. It's actually kind of beautiful how much you guys cook. I, I really I really enjoyed it. Um, I personally really enjoy reading just like. I was about to say fanfics, but not quite there. Not quite that. Um, <laughs> so it's more like a more like a. I really enjoy kind of like reading through um, people's uh, brain rots essentially. I I'm I'm slowly increasing my voice. Tell me if it's still too low. Maybe a little more. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe not fanfics, but um, I do feel like all of yours, uh, reading for your lords has been an absolute blast. And I will say, um, some of y'all are really big brain, <laughs> really big brain, to the extent where I'm thinking, man, I, I literally read few of them, and I'll be like, wow, that could have been a really good idea. <laughs> you know what? That's canon now. That's <laughs> that is canon now. Yep, perfect. Uh, <laughs> just steals the idea. No, um, no, but seriously though, having been said, all of you guys really did um, cook, cook some amazing stuff, and I really do appreciate it. Um, so again, so today I'll be reading through um some of your stuff. Essentially, I won't be able to get to all of them. I did um just kind of randomly look through and um, just say the few that I thought were worth talking about. Um. And when I say worth talking about, don't don't feel like oh so so my, if, if mine wasn't chosen so 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 mine wasn't uh, worth talking about no 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 um, it's just more like an essence of time. Um, all of your stuff was actually a pleasant to read, and thank you so much for all the um, attention you guys gave for hashtag War Million. We def overcooked. You know, sometimes some of the things I saw I read were like like um I think one of them was really cool, really interesting. It was like um oh. The, the hands at the clock was, uh, it, it hit 3 p.m. And 3 p.m. means like, uh, 3. So that means like, uh, in Roman numerals, that's 3 eyes. And it was like, I don't know, but, but like, y'all, y'all been cooking about like the, the, the 3, the 3 o'clock thing. And I'm like, I, I just thought, uh, just thought putting a clock there would have been cool. No, <laughs> <laughs> no there are, there is some meaning to it. Yes. Um, the 3 p.m. thing. I'm gonna be honest, not so much. I'm gonna be super honest, but there, uh, but some, some of, some of y'all did overcook to an extent where I've been c considering. So you know what, you know what. Without further ado, let's jump right in, shall we? Let's just jump right in. Um, I, I really did enjoy your guys overcooking too. And okay, one more thing I will say is, um, after seeing every one of you overcook so much, um, I realized that, for all and out, if I were to make anything more like this, whether it be a lore vid or some sort of like you know, um drama drop or something whatever um i'm gonna be very careful be very careful to make sure that um i don't break your minds <laughs> don't make you guys overcook to an extent where like you're thinking oh what what the heck's going on um so i'm gonna be more careful gonna be more detailed oriented this is my bad and uh i'll make sure everything is a lot better i'll ask her hey my no 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 <laughs> no 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 what no 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 what no <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't forget your tats next time yeah so like one, one of the thing was like um i i just forgot about the tattoos <laughs> so people are like huh 
There's no time. Okay, okay. There's two things. There's two big things I wanted to mention. Um, the first one is yes, uh, the tattoos. Um, just forgot it. That's all it is. That's just flat out forgot it. So that's definitely our bad. I'm so sorry about that. Number two. This is actually very interesting. I I um <laughs> too much CC cream. Exactly. Too too much makeup. Um, if you look at Lore 1.0, you will notice that I don't have my necklace on. And um, the reason behind that is actually two things. Um, I could I could probably just say, hey, you know, I forgot my necklace today. Yeah, I forgot my. But that kind of doesn't really work um, properly with the uh, the lore. <laughs> so let me just fill out that and say, it. um, it's not so much I forgot. It's more like uh, the entire idea of that lore was um, my outfits is incredibly detailed. It's very, it's it's a lot of stuff on me. It's just like, like, look, 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 just look, look at this, look, look, look at this, look at this. Every time I see y'all like cosplay me, I'm just like, wow, how did you, how how did you get every single detail down to the bone? Like, I love it. I absolutely love it. So, um, uh, the uh, the lore creator Marie was like, hey, uh, can I just get um, you know, the bare bones of it? I'm like, yeah, sure. Um, at the time, uh, we figured the necklace wouldn't be, um that importance <laughs> so uh yeah we did yeah yeah <laughs> so <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry everyone who was overcooking about that um i did see people be like huh so if it's not in laurel 1.0 then does this mean that he got the necklace after and i was like hmm that's a very that's a very good point <laughs> it's, it's a, <laughs> it's a, the, the so it's a very good point. So um so um I actually did get um so 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 what so before the stream um was one thing that Murray wanted to say after looking through all your lore lore uh, lore stuff there's one thing uh, Murray wanted to say y'all villains are smarter than Kaicho and I agree. <laughs> so thank you so much for uh, brain cooking um, and I'm so sorry for cooking your brain um, y'all really are much 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 smarter than me I just I just like I guess I didn't realize how much I, I guess I don't know I guess I, in a sense I almost underestimated you guys I guess yeah didn't think you guys are so smart and brilliant what the heck <laughs> yeah so big brain really went in deep in like deep deep so very thank you so much thank you thank you so so, so much um, but yeah let's jump right into it shall we <clears throat> without a further ado Let's look into the lore. Um, so the first half again is just going to be me reading for your lore Millie and stuff. And then the second half, uh, uh, first half of the video, uh, uh, the stream, there we go. And then the second half of the stream is going to be uh, me explaining exactly what's going on as we do a watch along of my lore 2.0 together. Yes. So look forward to that. Look forward to that. Um, and yeah, I know, I know. Because I, 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 I remember like... I was like, all right, guys, remember, the details are in the lore. The details, every single detail counts. We really thought about this. And then, like, forgot, like, the two most important things, the tattoos and the necklace. Like, oh, 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 my God. <laughs> so embarrassing. So embarrassing. Uh, so, yeah, never again. Yeah, so, 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 therefore, that will be the last lore I'll ever make. Uh, just because just I can't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Anyway. <clears throat> So I pulled out a few things. I just saved. A, I just bookmarked a few, um, a few stuff that I thought was kind of, um, you know, could be interesting talking about. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. First one I pulled out is by G G G G E G E. Sorry if I bought your names. My bad. Um, this one's actually just a Morse code translation. I just wanted to bring this up because I thought it was very important. Um, in case you guys didn't know, guys, in case you guys didn't know, um, in this one image over here, in this, in this, this, you know, I'm, I'm gonna turn on some more lore music. I can't even hear it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that this works. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right, let's get deep into it, shall we? Get your, get your uh, Sherlock hats on. Let's get into it. So here, if you didn't realize, um, and actually, can can I just say a little funny thing? Um, I, I was I was talking to Marie about this, and then we agreed that we're gonna put in a Morse code somewhere. The thing is, um, when she gave me the final version, I was kind of like, oh, 
Uh, I guess she didn't put it in. Well, I mean, I guess I guess it's a bit too late, so I might as well just just go with it. I, I didn't, I didn't realize. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't realize it myself that uh, um, yeah. So so let me see if I can actually. <laughs> Um, let me see if I, let me see if I can actually, so here we go, it's a color correction, I guess if I do it here, oh, that, that didn't really do the trick, um, I guess contrast is actually probably the better way to do this, there we go, do you guys see it now? So you didn't see it until, cause, cause, cause here's the thing, we, we both, so again, I, I, I agreed, I agreed that we're gonna put Morse code in this scene, but I didn't see it myself, so I just thought, oh, I guess she just didn't put it in. <laughs> but, uh, yes! Um, it's Korean. Oh, no, 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 you're missing the point here. Uh, the top, obviously, the first, like, the, this this main part of it, yeah, with the, with the diamond and all, yes, that's Korean. It says, 미래는 갈린 길과 막다는 길로 디어킨 난장판이다. However, down here, you guys didn't see. There is some Morse code right here. You wouldn't be able to see it unless you put on contrast. Yeah, exciting stuff, exciting stuff. And yes, uh, I didn't see it myself. <laughs> I was like, Murray, did, did, you, did, you, did you end up putting the Morse code in? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, huh, hmm. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, uh, there's that. So thank you everyone who actually went through and looked for it. Uh, thank you so much because I didn't see it myself. But yeah, I mean, this is really exciting stuff. Uh, so let me just quickly read it for you guys, if you guys didn't notice. The first one, it says, A fractured mind bearing the weight of the world. Mm, that's the first one. So the second one says, To what extent can a single consciousness carry the future of humanity? And the current here is, uh, Next one is without shattering under its crushing pressure. 그러지 못하는 자들을 속수무책으로 목격한다. Without a doubt unquestionable yet always uncertain. 그러나 나 역시 그 거대한 계획에 대해 무력하다. No answers lie in the void of its own soul. And 내 공허한 영혼에선 답을 찾을 수 없었다. Now what do these mean? What do these mean? So let me just quickly uh, translate the Korean for you guys. And if someone someone actually translated very well for me, because I kind of di didn't. Like, I, 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 I like, listen, I, I, look, hear me out. I did. Of course I wrote it, obviously, because, you know, lore. But, uh, um, um, uh, I, I can't really, like, perfectly translate it. So, 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 some, someone else did my, someone else did the job for me. So, you know, thank you very much. Um, I, I take those. We take those. Um, so someone actually, and I, I really loved it how like, y'all um, made like a uh, this entire like um spreadsheet on Google Docs and stuff. So thank you so so much. Um, here we go. It's like this. <clears throat> the translation is: the future is a shambling mess of dead ends, or a future is a cross. And like I love it. There's like three different translations. Three people are like doing three different translations. I thought it was so beautiful. Yeah, y'all you are so cool. You're so cool. Billions, you're, you're actually the coolest beings. Like I'm saying, it's amazing. The future is a shambling mess of dead ends, or a future is a crossroad and a dead end tangled together in a mess. The future is a mess of forks and dead ends. I think this is the this one I was kind of going for. Um, a future is a crossroad. Mm. A future is a crossroad, and it's a complete mess. Um, uh, I guess I will explain it now. Um, the the thing I was kind of pushing for here was the fact that yes, there is not one way we could push for the future. Uh, there's multiple paths indeed, you know, like that one very famous poem, you know, the path of less taken or something, you know, there's multiple paths you can take. However, for me, who can see the future, these paths are not just like beautiful, like, oh, there's just two paths, it's easy peasy. No, it's a bunch of paths. It's a complete, every single road leads to another crossroad. And it's completely webbed up so much that it's a tangled mess. That's the first part. Second one, 그러지 못하는 자들을 속수무책으로 목격한다. Oh, sorry. No, that's not it. Here. 나는 불확실함, 불확실함 앞에 서서 구원할 수 있는 자들을 구원하고 
I stand up in front of uncertainty and save those who I can. I stand in the ah, here we go. I stand in the face of uncertainty, saving those I can. This one I think is the closest. So you get a point. So that's one zero one one so far. No. <laughs> um, this one means well, pretty much me. Yeah. So my entire role, my entire ability, I know my veritas is the one where, um. And so someone actually also laid this out very nicely in one of the tweets, but um, I'll sort of show that later. I don't have the ability to change a soul from dark to light, just like easy peasy. Like I can't just be like, hmm, you get a bright future, you get a bright future. No, I can't I can't do that. Um only thing I can do is see the soul. Um and see the futures. And after that, I can only do so much as like say change the environment. Um to make sure that uh, the future can be changed. So for instance, in Lore 1.0, if you guys don't remember, um, Anive Veritas, that's where I saved the girl's soul by uh, beating up all the bad guys and making sure they don't come back out to capture the girl because there might be, may or may not be burning on life. But, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, arson aside, that's the idea. So if I'm able to change the environment, um, I'm able to change the, change the future, but I'm not able to change the soul directly to change their future, if that makes sense. Mm -mm -mm. So when I say I stand in the face of uncertainty, saving those I can, there are people that I can save, but there are people's souls where I look into them and I end up cannot doing anything, essentially. So there are definitely people out there that I cannot save, even though I know that they're going through a lot of stuff. In fact, um... You know, this is this is a uh, definitely unrelated to my current lore, but um, that that it actually partially ties in with how I met you guys, but um, but that that's another story. Here it says, So this one's actually very similar as well. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, and when is those who I cannot save? Yes, exactly. So, f standing in the face of uncertainty, I try to save people that I can, but there are people that I cannot, and I have to witness those helplessly. Yes, yes, yes. Um, this one, yeah, these two are actually the closest, I feel like, so y'all get points. <laughs> but I too am powerless against the grand scheme of things. So, there are times where, even though... I do change a person's future. In the grand scheme of things, the things I do, the things I'm able to change is limited. So what that means is just like how I'm able to change the environment to change someone's soul, things can happen and a person's soul can actually go tainted as well. And in fact, I would even say that there's a lot going on when it comes to changing someone's future. How should I say this? It's not it's not the easiest thing to do as a person and it's not the easiest thing you could um handle i suppose with a feeble human mind if that makes sense because if you think about it and i think this kind of relates to the next one i couldn't find an answer in my blank soul mm, this also kind of ties in with the name of lord 2.0 finding meaning uh which is a uh, um uh, what was the, what was the name? In, insignificant, uh, in, uh, <laughs> Invenience uh, Significata or something, right? I think it's, <laughs> um, no, but that's the idea. Uh, being able to change someone's future is very, very powerful and it could be used for good. However, at the same time, um, it holds a lot of responsibility, you know, as the good old Spider-Man quote, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. Um, there are people that I know will end up having a bad fate, and yet I cannot do anything to help them. Or, on the other hand, there are people that I save, but then I start wondering, you know, did I do the right thing? Did I really do the right thing? Because technically, Technically, if you think about it, by changing someone's future, I stopped someone from being someone else, essentially. And whether that someone else was actually a better future or not, 
That's something I will never know. I will never ever know because I changed it. So it it's a lot of it's a lot of um weight essentially. That's why there's five stages of grief because I'm in grief. <laughs> I'm in grief. I'm in. I'm in a lot of grief. And in fact, I really like this document as well, because um, they kind of go through each of the uh, each of the uh, things. I, I know it's cut off, but let me read it out for you. Examples of anger. Um, so yeah, um, this entire video was also sort of based on this whole um the grief idea. I feel like definitely before um the dream sequence. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, by the way, it's it's pretty. It, I, hopefully, it's very clear. But um. When it's all full color like this, it's when it's 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 reality. Technically, it's real life. I'm still awake, and then when it's all white and black, um, it becomes dream sequence. And totally, no, no, it's not because we didn't have enough budget that we chose make that choice. No, 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 no. It's because we wanted to, you know, signify the difference between reality and dreams. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, that 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 is canon L lore. <laughs> um. But uh, yeah. So. I, I feel like I don't really need to spoon, food, spoon feed you these ones, but essentially, yes, there's anger here. Um, and then there's bargaining. Or no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, anger. Or, wait, hold up. I feel like there's... Oh, here we go. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> where, where, where's the first one? So denial... The, 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 the color here is definitely more pink, right? The idea of Diana or like the first stage of grief is kind of like, you know, I, I believe that it's still okay. I believe that it's still okay. And that's why, yeah, exactly. Like this person said, we're ignoring people. There's silence. I'm ignoring people. The people came by in front. You'll be like, hey, can you sign this for you? I'm like, huh. <laughs> don't, don't talk to me. <laughs> Floating eye contact with Kotsuka. Exactly. Barely offering her a small wave. That's exactly exactly right. It's a complete um show of me being in denial of my current situation. And the thing is, another thing I want to mention is this isn't really a one-time occasion. This isn't really a one-time occasion. Um, it happens here and there. I would say once or twice, m maybe once every one or two months, essentially, pretty much, where I just kind of get in this mood of depression. You know, mood swings. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. Mood swings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, next one is anger. It's kind of, it's, I think this is very, very well explained as well. Um, basically, I feel like when someone's really in grief, they don't really be like, how could I, uh, and they get super angry. Maybe some people do, but I feel like for some other people, they express anger just by being, just really kind of holding it inside, you know? Be like, <laughs> and just start to kind of get frustrated with yourself. And that's the example of anger I wanted to show here. Sort of bargaining. This was cute. This this was definitely too cute. Um, yeah, you know, let me just show you. There's, there's uh, you guys. So you guys are coming out, and um, basically for me, when you guys pop up, uh, it's my way of coping almost. Your existence to me is my way of kind of returning back to happiness if that makes sense i'm trying to tell myself that yes things are okay because you are here and that's true when you guys are here it's definitely much much better absolutely no no doubt about it so and i i love that and especially how you um gave me a cookie it was, it was beautiful you, you know exactly what i wanted so i love that um However, there are um, times when even a cute little villain like you cannot truly get my um, grief out, and that's where depression comes in. Um, this explanation, by the way, all of this is really good, but uh, not quite right. Not quite right. Like the um, uh, image of his friends flashing before his eyes, life flashing before your eyes, being as is very drowning. Um, I didn't die. Uh, <laughs> I'm not dying in. I'm not dying in a dream, but I, I am definitely depressed. I am definitely depressed, yes. Um, and then acceptance. So here's something I actually... Um, obviously, the fifth one is acceptance. And the thing about acceptance is I didn't want to show it. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the acceptance parts in um, the Twitter 
teasers was uh, glitched out. The word acceptance was glitched out. There's a good reason to it. There's a good reason to it. Um, basically, I never got accept. I never accepted it. I never fully accepted it. And what that it is, I'll explain later. But pretty much, I never accepted it. I can still not accept what happened to me and what's going on with me. Um, and then there's the six uh, parts in the teaser for the Twitter teasers. There was a, you know, I'll talk about that later. But um, yes, uh, there is a six kind of stage of grief that I was hinting at. But I'm not sure if you guys, there was one thing that you guys did get was pre the pretty obvious one. But the second one I thought was pretty obvious. But I don't, I don't believe, I don't believe anyone actually truly understood um, what I was getting at with the uh, the, the 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 title of Lord 2.0. But I'll get that later. I'll get to that later. This one's cool as well. Who is she? Who the fuck is she? Right, the, the, the girl. Um, so I'll 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 go ahead and um. This is a great document, a fantastic, fantastic document. But let, let me let me explain this um more more in depth later. Yeah. So who who the frick is she? Good good question. Good question. Let's get into it. So because I don't I mean great document, but I, I definitely want to get it to other people's lords as well because y'all y'all been cooking. Um, let's see. Here's another one. <clears throat> now, this one's in Korean, but um, I'll do my best to translate a little bit of it. Because it's just one post, and I think it's very it's, it's a very simple post. Um, oh, I, I could probably rest this, but yeah, look at that. Ah, thank you, Google. The necklace seems to have a role to not only control abilities, but also to prevent S.E.R. Ser. <laughs> Of coming out, but the necklace is blue, and uh, yes, correct. This necklace is I'll explain it later as well. But this the necklace was it's hard to say, I wouldn't exactly say given to me. Um, apparently, I was holding on to it when I woke up. Um, not sure where it came from, possibly me, not sure, however. When you guys ask, oh, is this the uh, the 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 necklace to control Ser? It's actually it's actually not exactly that. In fact, it's actually not exactly that. It's more of a that's like that's like maybe half correct. Um, that's what the headmaster told me at least. But from my understanding, that's not quite true. Um, I'm not actually entirely sure what this is. Uh, I know that. So the headmaster told me, yes, this is this is a necklace to hold Sarah from coming out. Um, which I guess, oh, again, is actually another thing I think many people are kind of trying to understand. I'll get into that more as well. Um, but I don't think it's quite that. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it is myself. I will say, uh, but yes, I do believe the blue there does kind of seem to suggest that. Uh, to an extent, it is suppressing Sarah's powers. But the fact that it is getting blue, it does make me a little concerned. But, uh... Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not entirely sure what this is either. That That's actually th why I told Marie when uh, for Laura Open Up. I was like, yeah, you know, it's fine. You don't, you don't need to draw the necklace. I'm sure it's fine. But, um, having been said, I never really took it off as much as I could. Um, just in case. That's what, that's what the headmaster told me. But not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure what it is. <clears throat> Here's another one. This one's by Oh my god, Aster! <laughs> Lord Millen, so that woman was some way connected to Ver. I'm thinking either familial or like girlfriends. And he says the video goes through the five stages of grief, so I'm assuming she died. Could that have anything to do with the way uh Ver fell into and was thrown into? So maybe his girlfriend drowned, but then who is that man? What was he wearing? I don't know. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, so no, 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 no. <laughs> nah, no, 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 no. <laughs> it, was, it was, um, I, I, I like, I like how you try it, but uh, it's, it's not true at all. Um, no, she is not my girlfriend. Um, that, there was a lot of people who kind of was talking about, ooh, who that girl be? I mean, like, is she like a third individual? You know, is she like some different individual? Is she the one that, uh, started everything you know things like that uh no no it's not it is not um 
I think this is better if I explain it while we do the watch along later. Um, so I'll explain it there. But she she's not that. Uh, in fact, I I feel like there were enough hints in the video for you guys to notice that because I think I think some people did get, definitely some people did get it. Yes, some people definitely did get it. But um, let, let me show you why later on in the video. Here's another one. I thought this was cool too. I basically picked out some things that was also I thought was a pretty cool idea. Could it be that Vera went for an experiment that somehow created Sarah? So now Vera can sense Sarah trying to take control of him. I think Vera's soul jump was dark because he seems to be doomed to lose himself over Sarah. Really cool idea. Really cool idea. Um, also a really cool name by the way. I don't know how he did that. But um, I will say no, uh, that's not true. Um, as far as I'm aware, hopefully that's not true. Sarah is... Sarah is someone I met. Yeah. I don't know if I'm too comfortable sharing too much about it. But, uh, yeah, Sarah is someone I met. I don't know if the word someone is actually very accurate here. But, uh, no, Sarah is no science experiment. Sarah is very much real. And he's been a liability for me for a long, long time. <clears throat> Anyhow, anyway, maybe I gave... I gave too much for you guys to cook. Oh god, oh no, please don't overcook, guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> y'all be y'all with the overcooking already. Here we go. I already smell I already smell the burning. I already smell the burning. <laughs> Here's one by Oh wait, did I save this one? Let me see. Ah, here we go. Here's one by Xtina. Xtina writes and by the way, Xtina, like this one was really cool. I feel I thought this was really good. I thought this was really, really good. <laughs> Let us be. We're cooking. Oh my god. You said we burn our food? We'll burn your kitchen. Damn. Yo, yo, the arson. Oh my god. The, Xtina, you you I think this one was actually very close to um this was very close. Da, da, da. So Number one, there's five stages of grief leading up to Lord Tupano. There is a terminal condition related to his powers that can alter real-world situations. The five stages of him trying to accept his own ominous future that he cannot save himself from. Uh, not quite. Not quite. It's not exactly a terminal condition. I mean, my power... Well, I suppose you could call it a terminal condition. Um, I wasn't born with it. I'll tell you that. I wasn't born with it. Um, not if I want to tell you guys too much more, but, uh... Yeah, I wasn't born with it. Mm -hmm. So I guess in a sense, it's a condition. <laughs> um, the light blue eyes, Ser, uh So yeah, um, in the video where you guys saw the light blue eyes, yes, that is that is most definitely a reference to Ser. In fact, he's kind of a dick. He hopped into my dream and basically played around with my feelings. So, so what a dick. Number three, this condition is something he's had for a long time, possibly from a young age. That's true. That's true. That's why the headmaster enrolled him into XLA to help him to control his abilities and keep his condition in check. But the clock and background are ticking, hinting that Vera is out of time soon. So I don't know the best way for me to explain this. The clock is not something exactly I uh, understand why it came out in the Dream Eater. And I, I say it is I say it is not okay. How should I how should I explain this? <sighs> the clock. Okay, let me just get a little metal with you guys. Let me just get a little metal with you guys. There's a reason why. Um. We Marie, Marie put in the clock. <laughs> but um. I don't know why. I don't know if that... I, I don't know if... That's probably not the best way to explain it, but it's... I don't know if that made sense. There's a reason why the clock is in there, but I don't know why. If that makes any sense. Is that, does that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically, I'm as confused as you guys. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh... Yeah, yeah, no, no, I think I think that's pretty. Accurate. Yeah, a hidden message from me. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, it's like how should I? Say? I mean, I don't know. I just I I want to keep your immersion, okay? 
<laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I just break immersion just a tad. Ver, the character doesn't know, but Ver knows. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if that made a lot of sense. But yes, the clock by itself is not something Ver should understand yet. However, it does have meaning, if that makes sense. It does have meaning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As uh, having been said, so therefore 3 p.m. is canon? Uh, <laughs> not quite. That's a bit of overcooking. But uh, wait, there is reason to it. Ah, here. There you go. For in conclusion, invenian significatum could mean two things. The search for meaning and purpose. Saving one person's soul could jeopardize the fates of others. Everyone's destinies are linked in the same reality. So what could he use his powers for then? Especially with Saren. This is very true. This is very, very true. Um, not only does me and um, you know stopping someone's future kind of end that future, but also it could have a very, very big effect on many other people's futures. So yes, that's very true. The search for a sign of his own salvation, this is also very true. He has an ominous future that seems inevitable because he cannot see what the future is trying to try to save himself. Possibly he's looking for a sign that could show him what is to come so he could do something. This is very true and I am always in constant fear and panic and worry of what the heck is going to come happen to me. Honestly, like every day I wake up thinking, you know, you know, Maybe maybe I'll get in a car crash and die. Like I don't know, or like maybe I'll maybe I'll slip on ice and I'll fall or something. So it's 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 a genuine stress. Um, luckily for me, I have you guys to make sure that doesn't happen. That's very nice. But one thing I do know, hundred percent, is that uh, something bad is gonna happen because my soul is dark and I'm worried about that. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the cameos of the Yen Livers is the one detail I can't completely understand. Uh, yes. So, I will, I will be honest about two things. There, there's two things I want to be honest about, right? Um, the cameos here are definitely, um, something I did look into. But, uh, it's also partially, um... How should I say this? None of these are real, if that makes sense. None of these actually happened. And I, and I feel like many of you did get it. Many of you did understand. Um, or at least, that's not true. That's not true. None of these happened yet. If that makes sense. None of these quite happened yet. Or at least at the time of the making. Um, I think specifically, I believe here, specifically two of these. Two of these panels. One of them, I guess, happened technically. The other one is to happen. So what these panels are um, basically to explain is I'm, try I'm trying my best to not confuse you guys as much as possible. Um, there are all the possible futures that I've seen. Some of them could have ha some of them could happen, some of them can't happen. Or, or sorry, some of them might not happen. Um, I'll get into them more detail when you have them in bigger screen, but uh, you'll understand when I get to them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, and some of you guys already have. So many guys already have. So um, y'all, y'all been cooking very well. I love y'all cooks. Um, this one is pretty good too. So I'm gonna bring this up as well. This is Helnaz, and yeah, y'all Helna actually did a pretty. Even even though their profile picture is of uh, of not me, um, and even though uh, technically they seem to be um a more fan of a uh, not me. Uh, you know, um, they, 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 they did some good cooking. <laughs> so, they did some good cooking. So, I, I, I'll go for them a little. Yep, yep, yep. Um, the girl IRL is not evil. He think he was just dreaming about that scene in Lore 1.0. Until it transitioned to the tainted soul as he was purifying the girl's soul. Which is where I think was when Ser took over. Yeah, you know what? This is, this is pretty accurate. This is actually very, pretty accurate. Um... There's there's few things definitely in the lore that none of you guys got. I'm pretty sure as far as I didn't like miss out a few, none of you guys got a few things. So I'll definitely uh, explain it better, and it's probably honestly on me for not storyboarding it better. But uh, but trust me, trust me, it it actually does make sense. But anyway, uh, this is pretty close. Yes. So the girl the girl definitely is the girl from Lore 1.0. Yes, the girl is the girl from 1.0, and I'll explain why later. The fact it was in the dream where Sarah said we meet again. I'm not sure how else to describe it except for the fact that Sarah possessed the girl's body when the dream took a dark turn. So here's the thing about this. Um, I feel like the way Hana wrote this was kind of in the assumption where like, oh, it seems like a 
kind of like Sarah's controlling me mentally from like a different alternate universe. That's not quite true. Uh, Sarah is definitely within me. Sarah's inside me. I know that sounds weird. And don't take it like that. But yes. <laughs> I, I, I see you, fan artist. No, no, no. So stop with the over 18. No, no, no. no. I, 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 I swear to God, if you put that in the over 18, I swear to God. Um, so technically, uh, he's inside me, but I don't really get to... Or thank God, I don't get to really talk to him or see him in general. Um, but uh, yes, it's been a while and we did meet again. I mean, that dream is... Um, you know when I said, like, um, this depression happens a lot? I get depressed a lot sometimes. Like, you know, uh, like a month or two, I just feel like, uh, you know, like, I, I, I don't know what's going to happen in my life. I'm very sad. But usually these sort of dreams don't always happen. These dreams are pretty rare. And it's been a while since this happened. But uh, meeting Sarah in my dream was very worrisome, I suppose. Not sure. Kind of makes me wonder if he's going to... Be free soon, but hopefully not. Um, and also the headmaster scene where he was given the necklace to uh, Ver, which what I believe is for Ver to deal with Ser, transitioned to the scene with blue trees at the lake, with the headmaster and the boys standing in uh, the same exact position and pose as the previous scene. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. <clears throat> pretty accurate. And did you know, notice that the headmaster had the blue shadow when he first appeared in the scene where he had blue eyes right before a bear woke up? I don't know if you guys noticed that, but yeah, actually that's a very good catch. Not many people caught it, and I feel like I did see it somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. Not many people caught that little point, but it's very, very true. Um, here, look at this. This is in a different, this is in a different document. Um, see here, this person. And again, like these Google Docs are amazing. There is indeed a blue tinted shadow yeah there is indeed a blue tinted shadow here so yes this does suggest very much that this person right here is not exactly the headmaster that i knew and love you know well love might be a very very not quite accurate word because he's a character a very interesting person but uh but yes he's not exactly the headmaster doing it. so i feel like it's very important to reiterate i think it really is very important to reiterate that the things that happened here in this dream is literally a dream some things, in fact, no, that's not even true. I'd say 90% of the things that happened here didn't actually happen. That makes sense. 90% of the things that showed up in the dream didn't actually happen. However, it's all very much related to things that happened to me in real life and has been kind of translated into a dream. Mm -mm -mm. Also, this person, this person in the document actually over, well, I want to say overcooked. Got to... I, I thought this was pretty cool. Can I just say this is super, super cool? 1155, which in angel numbers means new beginnings as a leader, positive change, expressing your wishes with both clock hands pointing at the director, hinting that he's the one bringing Kaicho this change. So... I didn't know what angel numbers were. <laughs> I, I didn't know what angel numbers were. I will be honest. I will be very honest. I'll be super, super honest. How... However, however, the reason why that's about to become 12 is, yes, actually, like, in a sense, yes. New Beginnings was the idea um, I was pushing for, because I just figured if it hits 12, then it's about time for a new beginning, you know, and then new things will happen. So, yes, having been said, uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know what angel numbers are, but but the general idea is yes, new beginnings as a leader, positive change, expression of wishes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That that's pretty accurate. And you know what? Uh, yeah, now now it's canon. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I was going for. Yes, angel numbers. Yes, precisely, precisely. Uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I also got to mention down here as well. I thought this was a very good catch as well. If you notice here, the shadows here kind of go on the right side like this. But then if you go down here, the shadows go to the left. This is a very good catch. I didn't think many people would get it. But yes, you're absolutely right. <laughs> um, the reason why the shadows are like this is to kind of express the change in time. It's also partially why the clock is there. Um, this is the past. This is, this is the past. Many people didn't quite understand this. 
This is me. <laughs> this is me as a kid. I, I used to be a country bumpkin. My hair was tied up like that, yes. Um, I had longer hair, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Um, I guess it wasn't very clear. That That's kind of on me, yeah. Um, but I don't know if you guys notice here as well. You notice how like this the, the, the shadow here is no longer blue? But the shadow here is blue. Think about that for like three seconds and then I'll explain it to you. Three, two, <laughs> one. So basically here, the headmaster here, this scene guys never happens in reality. This scene never happens. Like, first of all, come on, guys. Me without my beautiful jacket? Can you actually imagine that? <laughs> Can you guys actually imagine me without my jacket? Oh, my God. Like, who do you guys think I am? Huh? Oh, I'd never leave my room without my jacket, you know? <laughs> but also, partially, it's, um, <laughs> yes, we've stolen it. Damn. <laughs> um, basically, though, what this is signifying is I do look up to the headmaster as... I wouldn't say a fatherly role, but definitely a person who helped me out a lot. Um, and that kind of definitely shows up in this scene. This is my first time meeting the headmaster as a kid. Um, he kind of helped me up, essentially. And he gave me... Well, he gave me this necklace, but technically he said that he found it on me. Apparently I was gripping onto it very hard. I'm not sure w where it came from. But he kind of gave it to me saying like this will help me kind of fix my problems essentially. And yeah, no tattoos. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but yes, as you can see, as you can see, yes, this is uh, me reaching out with the right hand. This is signifying this scene right here, actually. Um, it's 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 very confusing because I know like the here there's the hands like this and then the person's here. But then here the hands like this. This is all... Um, How should I say this? Like, if I if I were to tell you it's just because it's a dream, would you guys be mad at me? Um, because it kind of is. I, I kind of thought it would be a cool idea to, 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 to like transition this fake part into this real part by saying that this was kind of a mix up here. Because I wanted to express that this right hand was actually this kid, but then this. Okay, you know what? Yeah, you know what? This this might have this might have been a stretch. My bad. <laughs> I was overcooking myself and it didn't really come out well. But um long story short, this happens. This did not. This happens. This is just a symbolization of me looking up to the headmaster. But this is real. And then uh yeah, this, this beautiful stuff. Absolute great theorizing. Um This is overcooking. Um I didn't realize it myself, but uh I I actually, I actually asked Maria about this later. I was like, "Wait, Maria, why, why, do, why does why does he have a why does he have a hole in the ear?" He's like, "Uh, oh, just the basic anatomy the basic anatomy of a ear. You know, you have holes." Like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> so, this is a this is this was a, this was a, I think this was just like a artistic choice <laughs> if that makes sense. So, don't 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 think about this too much. Um, however, having been said. The reasoning, the, the theory, the theory that they gave here was actually pretty cool too. This is what wakes up... Oh no, here we go. Um, I, I think someone explained explained here that um, this is kind of signifying that this is actually Ser because of the, 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 the earring hole and this is actually not the headmaster. That's actually true. So again, you, you, get, you guys came to the right conclusion. It's just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not not for the right reasons, but yes, the right conclusion. Good job, team. <laughs> good, good job. <laughs> um, yes. However, having been said, this is not how Sarah looks like. In fact, I'm. I feel like. Wow. To explain how Sarah looks like, Sarah Sarah doesn't look like a person. Yeah, task failed successfully. Yeah. Sarah Sarah's not a. Sarah doesn't look like a person. Is is all I would say. Um. Anyway. Etone, and then oh, I love the I love ladies. Like yeah, this is this is really good cooking as well. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the other lords because now we're almost heading an hour, and I've only gone into like a few of you. <laughs> oh, and then let me just quickly finish up Helena as a thing as well because I think this is worth mentioning as well. Quick summary: Ver and Sarah are the same person. 
Uh, not quite. Like I mentioned, Sarah's just um, inside me. <laughs> Again. But we're not exactly the same person. In fact, to call Sarah a person is actually a little... I don't know. Technically degrading to him, I guess? I don't know. We meet again. Could it be that Sarah's part of Vera's mind? That's pretty close, yes. Um, the boy in the scene with the blue leaves and lake is Vera. Correct! That's me. That's me again with me with my little ponytail, yeah. It's a good time. In fact, there's actually some people who actually got it immediately and they drew some fan art of me with um, as a kid and I thought it was really cute. Um, but then a lot of people didn't get it, so it was actually very interesting how um, definitely... Uh, it, it takes a lot of brain rotting to really understand what's going on. And I, I, you know, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. When Vera woke up, he had blue eyes, proving it more that Sarah may be part of Vera. Yes, that's true as well. Also very true. Um, let me quickly explain this as well. Imaginary friend? Oh my god. <laughs> Sarah taking over a very dream and turning into the girl possesses the girl. Um, yes. This so basically this scene, um, I'll explain it more as well, but this scene is basically Sarah taking over my nightmares. Sarah's taking over my nightmares and basically uh sorry for the profanity, but fucking with me essentially. <laughs> it's essentially what it is. He's uh he's 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 ducking with me. Good old Sarah. <laughs> um uh, yeah, and yes, and and, and Hona, Hona got this pretty um, accurately. Yeah, the fact that th this blue eye, this blue eye thing, is a symbolization of yes, Sarah is uh, again fucking. <laughs> All right, next one, next one. That's pretty good, pretty good job, pretty good job. Um, let's see, what another one? This one's pretty good too. This is by Uni, Invenia Significatum. Observations: Kaichos necklace and okay, I'm so sorry. So. <laughs> So Kaicho's necklace in first part, but no necklace in Anime Veritas. I apologize <laughs> for all, all the burn brains that I might have caused from this. I apologize. Um, Water Girly plus Necklace Man. Headmaster Air. Both have blue eyes. Yes, says Water Girly is the same as AV Kid. AV. As A AV. Anime Veritas. Anime Veritas Kid. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Mm, 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 mm. Hence the so we meet again. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and then notes text color indeed. Oh, the text color. The text color is very important. The, the, te the, the text color is actually very important. The text color is very, very important. Um, I know what you think. No, no, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you guys talking about? Talking about? I was... <laughs> shut up, shut up. Anyway, um, the text color. Yes, yes, te the text color. Um, it's very important. I will. I think someone explained it as well somewhere. I, I might not. Might might, might, might might have missed it. But uh, the text colors are blue, blue, and then one of the lines is purple. And there's good reason to that. There is good reason to that. Uh, let's see. Ending scene. Kaja's necklace has blue glow. Yes, good good catch. Three minutes. When we see necklace man, I love how it's called necklace man instead of headmaster, but it's headmaster. Yes, yes. Eleven fifty five. Good catch. Um, NVBTM never been never been too much november together meeting never gonna give you up no what oh not non verbatim uh. <laughs> uh one or two scenes actually happened but most of it nightmare isn't real correct correct one or two scenes actually happened but most of it isn't real correct Oh, did I say that? Is that is that what I said? Is that what non verbatim means? I don't know. Um, did I say that on stream? I might have said it on stream. Well, if I said it on stream, then you 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 guys you guys don't have an excuse. <laughs> um, yeah, yes, you guys don't have an excuse. Yeah, you should have known. You should have known better. Disappointed. <laughs> Note: Sarah Mens mentions. Okay, y'all 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 and with your uh, <laughs> y'all with your uh, uni. Listen. Listen, friends, I, I love you, but like, holy shit. <laughs> the, the, these, uh, <laughs> these shortening of the words. Sarah mentioned who didn't actually show up. Maybe Sarah disproves theory that cuts with blue eyes man is Sarah. I don't know what you're talking I don't know this sentence. <laughs> I don't understand this sentence. 
Last scene has blue in soul, which is not normal, seeing other dark souls are fully black. Yes, that's true. My soul is a little interesting. Because most people usually, um, you know, it's just uh, one person, you know, usually one person, one soul. For me, uh, there is literally a person inside of me. So it, it kind of, it kind of, it kind of, uh, you know, played with the color a little, yes, essentially. Anime impulse, my god. <laughs> uh, SMH, I don't know, it's just hard, man. Um, Water Girl, I like how he's called Water Girly now. Young, um, Anima Veritas' soul was never fully purified. So this is not quite true. This is not quite true. And I, know, I think many people also fought this as well. Um, many people are thinking, well, hmm. Um, it looks like, uh, it looks like, you know, the fact that the Water Girl suddenly becoming a Dark Soul means that it was not fully purified. That's not true. That's not true. Um, this actually ties back to some of the, the quotes in the video. Namely, um, future is a crossroads. And even though I'm able to see a bunch of futures, I'm not able to do much. And the worry that I might have cut off someone's future. That scene... I don't know if they, there's an image of it. I'll show it again in the video. That scene is basically me seeing that girl's future. Maybe I should... Uh, you know what? Maybe I should show Laura 1.0 as well. Because actually, it's, it's related to Laura 1.0. Um... How about this? While I'm reading these through, I think one hint that could really help you guys out on why that is or what exactly is going on is the fact that think about why that girl is in a cage. In Lore 2.0, think about why the girl, when the soul becomes black and the girl's eye becomes blue, why is she in a cage? Hmm? Why is she in a cage? Think about that a bit. And I think it might get to the answer a little quicker but i'll explain it later so don't worry if you guys don't understand um it's all good it's all good water girly and necklace man are connected so that's not quite true that's not true they, they i i highly doubt water girly even knows who the headmaster is um if they met at all but uh yeah pretty, pretty good pretty good pretty good pretty good pretty good pretty solid solid stuff okay Ah, this one's a good call. This one, this one's a very good callback. Um, but this one's done by y Yamara. This is very good. Also interesting to note is that if this is Ver's soul, there's a shade of blue. They're near the bottom left of the flames against his hand and on the diamond. This is intended, because you can see and compare with the soul colors of the imprisoned girl in Lore 1.0. Wait, I'm just rereading this. Did I read this correctly? <laughs> and there's, there's a shade of blue, and then your devil is on a diamond. Ah, yes, exactly, precisely. Yes, of course. So, um, this is this is a good callback to um 1.0. This is this is how a normal soul should look like. This is how a normal quote unquote dark you know slash black soul should look like. This is what my soul looks like. As you can see, my soul is a little fucked up. It's a, it's a little bruised. It, it doesn't look very healthy. I wonder why. <laughs> Maybe it's the whole having a person inside me um, that really, you know, you know, frick things up a little. Yeah. <laughs> it looks pretty though. Yeah, oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, this one's in complete Korean. Um, uh, but I really liked it. I really, so this, this one's this one. Um, I really like reading it. Um, but I don't think I'll be able to go through it because it's it's a lot of Korean and even though I'm I, I could do my best <laughs> but uh, uh but there are scenes here that I but I did save this one because I really I really enjoyed how they um brought some 1.0 images into it I can see here this girl and this girl is actually the same girl but not quite not quite more accurately I don't know if they showed the image here I guess they didn't bring the image more accurately it's it's the image of the girl that I saw in her future. When I was looking into her future, there was a scene where I saw this girl, but, and I, I know it's actually very hard to see, um, and I don't think it was conveyed properly, but in that future, this girl was older. This girl was older. Hmm. In 1.0, the girl in the cage that I saw in the future, she was older. And that's that girl. This is that girl. That's that's why there's there's cages here. Again, I'll show you 1.0 to just better explain it to you. Um, but yeah, these are technically the same girl. This is 
the one that I met in 1.0, and this is the future that I saw. And Sarah is fucking with me by showing this future to me in my nightmare, being like, hey, 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 hey. remember this girl that you kind of um, basically made sure doesn't exist anymore? Because, you know, like now we don't know if she actually, maybe she enjoyed that cage. Who knows? Like, you know, maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, she was, he was, it's basically Sarah's being a dick to me. Um, and here they actually show the show the um the 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 the, the, the colors as well, except uh this person kind of overcooked a tad, overcooked the tad. Also, let me quickly turn on my AC. It's kind of getting cold. Yeah, so this person overcooked just a tad. Um, they actually. <laughs> <laughs> they actually got out the the hex uh, numbers, um, which is which is really cool. I mean, I think that's really cool, and I, I, I honestly I really appreciate it. Um, however, this is actually so so the, what they wrote here is it's kind of closer to green, um, but uh, but but no 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 no. Th this is just blue. This is just flat up blue. This is Sarah talking. This is Sarah talking. We so we meet again. That's Sarah. That's all Sarah. This is actually supposed to be purple. Not sure why it looks so blue on my end as well, but poor little Ver is actually kind of the reason why it's in purple is because um da, 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 da. when uh i'm basically talking to myself for a little bear being like god damn it i think someone wrote this as well in one of the theories in the twitter um but basically i'm saying like damn ron like a poor little me essentially i'm feeling bad for myself but then there's also a sarah basically looking down on me saying <laughs> Poor little Ver. Kind of like that kind of vibe, you know? So, this is kind of like signifying a little bit of both. That that was the idea. And then they also wrote down all of these stuff. It's really good, really good. They even like specify like the specific, like um the outfits I'm wearing, the clothes I'm wearing. I'm like, nah, that's not exactly, I don't, I, I wasn't, I didn't cook that far, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so purple is in both Ver and Sarah's talking. Right, exactly. And again, this isn't a dream. This is a dream. So technically, I'm not, it's not exactly like I'm talking with him, obviously. But it's more like what Sarah is talking, I'm thinking as well, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is my favorite lore. And this is actually absolutely canon. I think this was very, very close on the dot. This was very accurate. This was very, very accurate. Um, yeah, th this one. this one's very good. So yeah, what if the crystal he's holding is actually a delicious candy? Yeah. No, this this one this one this one's actually yeah it's actually yeah no no it's, it's true, strawberry strawberry grape flavored um candy this this actually I, I don't know how this person got it like this this was actually the very secret hidden meaning behind the lore and they they got it, it like Angelo's like you're you're amazing I I'm I'm surprised that you got it so accurately yeah this is actually just um uh I yeah I'm just making the candy floats and uh, after the lore I just sucked on it and I was like mm, tasty mm, 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 mm. Mm, great. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty accurate. Yeah. Good job. Good work. Good work. Good work. Um, ah, this one I saved because this was very much accurate to what I was going for as well. Very simple. Very just, just one, one, you know, one quote, but it's very, very, very accurate. Honestly, I think the little kid of the VIP clients Kaijo saved in the first lore video somehow grew up with her soul darker again. The necklace definitely has some meaning to it, maybe a contract of some sorts. And as for Kaicho himself, it seems to be his soul is also dark. Yeah. So again, um, I, I say this because, yes, uh, that's the girl. <laughs> um, as for did the girl actually grow up? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how she's doing. I mean, it's been a while since I contacted her. But um, but as far as I'm aware, that's the future of the girl grown up. Um, so I'm not. It's just not again. It didn't actually happen, as far as I'm aware. Also, this part was kind of nice as well. You haven't checked up on her? I mean... It's XLA policy for me to... For members to not be in, like, personal contact with our clients, if that makes sense. It's just, uh... It's, uh... <laughs> we're, we're under NDA, Noah. <laughs> um, I remember Kaijo saying he did try to check his soul color. Maybe it's been dark ever since. And all this time, he's been trying to change his fate. Such as the still nothing line. Yep. That's pretty cute. That's pretty accurate. Um, am I trying to change my fate? Not so much as it is more like I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going to happen to me. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, to avoid being attached? Yeah, it's pretty much that. It's like, thing, like a lot of things. Just like potentially 
you know, potentially bringing harm to us or the clients and whatnot. It's better to just kind of keep things professional. Who knows though? Maybe, maybe one day I'll cross paths with her again. Who knows? Um, this one, this one's a very good cooking as well. Um, I like this. Oh, and this one I also enjoyed because they show kind of like some, some of the 1.0 photos. Ah, uh, not quite. Um, so, so again, this person, this person got very close, but, and th this is something everyone also mentioned. I, I feel like, I, I guess it, it's probably on my side. Should have explained it better. Um, I'm guessing that the girl in 2.0 who caused Vera to panic is the same girl that was 1.0, just older this time, correct? Um, however, so we meet again is not the girl actually talking, it's Sarah. Um, Vera can change the destiny of someone, but he cannot change human nature. So technically the girl wasn't a dick. It was more like the girl's future was just very unfortunate because she was roped in with the wrong people. The girl herself was a very good person. Um, so that's not quite true. That's not quite true. Um... Millie Senpai, yeah, Millie Senpai did drop a bit of, a bit of lore stuff. Um, how can one man handle the burden of seeing possible futures? Even that terrifies me. I think that's very accurate. Yes, Millie, Millie drops some lore crumbs and it's very true. I thought that could have helped as well. Because the whole idea of, you know, having the burden of seeing possible futures is kind of what I was getting at as well. A lot of burden, man. Being Kaicho is hard, okay? <laughs> um, and I love this one as well. This one's very accurate. Some EN members made appearances in 2.0, but I want to focus on Enna because I think it is the most obvious example of going down the wrong path. She is a songbird of heaven, but she is standing on a summoning circle, commonly associated with the devil, with evil-looking eyes. Correct. Correct. And I think this is a very good uh, place for me to kind of quickly explain what the heck is going on. Um, like I mentioned before, these are all possible features that I saw in my senpais. Um, this one is a possible future where Enna didn't actually just end up being, you know, the quirky, great singing, honestly a little crazy <laughs> like every day that we all know and love. <clears throat> but rather she kind of went down into the... Because she's the song butter of heaven, but instead of, you know, staying in heaven because she was kicked out of heaven, um, wait, no, was she kicked out of heaven? I forget. I know Io was kicked out of heaven. What the, what the, what, 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 why, why is that a here again? <laughs> um, but yes, essentially this is her kind of going a darker path. This is going, she was kicked out of hell. Eh? She was kicked out of hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the future where she, instead of being the song of heaven, she ended up going on a darker path. Um, taking in... Taking in, I guess, all the, the hell powers that she wanted. Yep, yep. Um, and I'll explain this more, but all the other uh, little cameos of my senpais are all very much similar. It's all the idea of them turning the wrong path and something happening. Something happening. Yes, yes, yes. This is all good. This is all really good stuff. I loved it. I loved it. Um, I'm gonna go for like maybe one more and I guess I'll jump into the actual, um, video. Oh, actually I did, I did want to, I did want to look at, um, a few of these as well though, because I think this is really cool. Um, let's go with, I'll, I'll go with three more. Let's go with these three. Let's, let, let's quickly go for them. So this is by Jay. Um, and this is also in Korean, but all, we have this beautiful translate tweet button. So it's hard to organize the words, so I only roughly interpret a part of it. A girl who appeared in the debut lore, unlike the point in time when Ver saved the child in the dream, is obviously growing up, but his soul is dyed black again. For some reason, the child is destined to become unhappy again, eventually a dark future. Yes, well, again, so, so I feel like many, many people thought this, and not quite right. It's not her actually getting into a darker future, but, but, but good stuff, good stuff, good, good. NT, NT, nice try. And then the other stuff is also very good as well. Um, let me see if I can find other stuff. As well. Um, do, 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 do. There's one by... Uh, this one's pretty cool. This is one by Created to Post. Um, apparently they break free they break free from the corner to talk about Vermillion. Um, okay, so we see a girl with blue eyes in the dream. In Ver lore, there's only one established character with a blue association. Members know a bit more about him. 
That's true. Members would actually members. Um, it was just like most of you guys, but um, no, no, I saw. But yeah, Sarah does make a short little appearance in uh, in the membership because I wasn't able to control him freely. He just decided to pop in. He was like, "Hey, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna mess up your channel." I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> oh, okay." <laughs> um. We see a girl with blue eyes in the dream. In Fair Lore, there's only one established character with a blue association. Yes, yes, yes. And that is indeed Sarah. Does it mean he mainly exists within Vare's mind in between reality versus actual reality? Mm. Hmm. There is something floating in my water cup. Is that a small bug? That makes me concerned. I guess I'll not drink that anymore. Um, does it mean... <laughs> does, it... <laughs> does it mean he mainly exists within Bear's mind in between reality versus actual reality? If the... <laughs> It's protein, no. If that's true, but he seems to have a will and influence of his own over Kaicho, um, taking over and overpowering him in Dream, does that mean he's more powerful entity than Bear? Is Sarah stronger than me? Is Sarah stronger than me? I mean, I beat him once. So, I beat him once, so surely he's not that strong, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sir, sir, sir's weak. Sir's a weak one, huh? Sir, 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 weak. Weakling. Absolute weakling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Um, following that, there's a logical train of thought for progression then in this story, but uh, that's where I stop my thoughts and back to my corner. <laughs> I'm freaking... Person, I think this person was very uh, stressed about a lot of things. Okay, that's okay. <clears throat> and then... What else is there? Ah, this one's pretty good too. Um... This is Linz. I don't know how to put it into big words, uh, into words because I'm also big braining. Kaicho was either brainwashed or something happened when he locked his memory. Uh, that's true. Yeah. So I think this one's pretty accurate. My memory was locked. I think from what I understand, my my future was locked, and my 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 suspicion, my suspicion is that my necklace has something to do with my memory being locked. My future memory being locked, or not not my memory. It's more like my future future memory future vision i guess being locked i think yeah so that's pretty accurate right there um what if kaicho was an orphan no i have parents <laughs> i have a i have a healthy mom and dad so don't worry about that don't worry about that would it would it have made for a better edgy story perhaps perhaps but 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 um but my mom and dad is very well and alive so don't <laughs> Mama Vermilion and Papa Vermilion are doing well. Do they have powers as well? No, no, no. In fact, like I mentioned before, um, I I'm just a kid, I'm just a kid. Having been said, my parents did go out. Um, I think like once a month, they would often go um into the forest. Sometimes I'm not sure why. They kind of like dressed up in kind of like some traditional clothing, and then they did go out into the forest sometimes. I'm not sure why. Um. But as far as I'm aware, they're normal people. I don't think they have powers. <clears throat> Etone. Means Kaicho was there all along from when Finana joined and I came to Earth, blah blah blah. Not quite, not quite. I'm not I'm not like I I I didn't I didn't uh I didn't live that long. But um but from the futures that I did, you know, kinda look into them, I did see a lot of stuff. I did see a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Some may ask, why, then why Kaicho only debut now as 7th wave? Because he's too broke, so he needs... Okay, you know what? Alright, moving on. And then... <laughs> oh, and the last one. This one's by Lover Duck. And someone said that the release date of May 28th is also meaningful. Because Vera's birthday is August 25th, but the date was turned upside down. In some countries, it may not be marked as day month instead of month day, but it's clearly marked as month day in this D0, May 28th and August 25th, corrupted. I'm actually shocked you guys got that. 
I'm actually very shocked you guys got that. Um, yeah. That's pretty impressive. I... Yeah, this this one this one's honestly this one this one's honestly very very impressive. Um, I I guess I, I guess it's kinda on the nose. It's kinda on the nose. That was intentional. <laughs> what would it? I mean, it it was kind it was kind of like half intentional. Um, technically, it was it was um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was intentional, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like 90% intentional. It's kind of more like, you know, whenever it's ready, I'll just release it. But like, you know, it'll be cute if we could release it at this time. And then it worked out, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, so good good work, good work. It's a, it's a very good cooking, and you cooked very well. Good job, good job. <clears throat> all right. Now we went for all of that. Shall we get to the final? 3.0 at birthday? Listen, listen, as much as I want to... As much as I want to, I'm a poor person. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will. I, I'm not sure if I will or not. I'll, I'll get to that. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll strongly think about it. But um, we'll see. We'll see. Now let me quickly get to here. Um, I wanted to show this one scene in my Laurel and Pernod first. Um, so I could pop it out perfectly without showing my uh very embarrassing um recommended list. Let's see. Go. All right, so I'm gonna keep this on. This is Laurel and Pano. Keep this available for now. Okay. So I'm going to just show you guys a few scenes in Laura 1.0 first, and then I'll talk to, I'll show you Laura 2.0. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. And let me go ahead and pause the audio. Let's do it. Let's do a watch along. Anima Veritas. So this is, a, this is important. I don't know if you guys remember, um, in Laura 2.0, as well as my Twitter banner at the time, this is very significant. I don't know if you guys actually connected the dots, but these windmills, th these windmills are important. <laughs> They're very important. This was suggesting that this was kind of a throwback. Remind me. Oh my God, that's my voice. Uh, <laughs> this is a throwback to the windmills back there. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know if you guys noticed. This scene right here, this is pretty much exactly, it's pretty much pulled out, but like just kind of drawn it a different way. It was snowing as well, and then the wind was there. Yeah. I don't know if you guys noticed. Yeah, I, I, scared, I was scared by myself. I, for, I forgot I talked in this one. Um, so yeah, there's that. So no that part. And then the other part you got to know is that I'm very handsome here. As well as very kakui here as well. Um, but then there's also a point here. This point. This point is important. <laughs> So I don't know if you notice here, but um, the fact that this girl, like, it's, it's also a very small tidbit. Do you see the girl here and how the hair kind of stops here? The hair stops right around about like, you know, I suppose, what do you even call it? It's like the, the top half of the back? Top half of the back? Now take a look at this. Oh, tattoos. Oh, good times. Ah! Oh! Look at the hair length now! Look at the hair length now! Look at the- Look at the hair length now! Ah, shoulder length. There you go. Do you see that now? So this is her future. This is when she was older. She even has a different outfit. Her dress is also longer as well. So you can see here, this is kind of a more of like a, let's say like relatively elementary school kind of like, you know, like maybe uniform. Here is more of a dress. This is her future. And this, this point is very important as well. Watch this. Ah? Nani gore? This is the future that was being referred to in Laura 2.0. Does it make sense now? This is the cage. This is the scene. This is the future that I saw in Laura 1.0. 
and this is being referred to in lore 2.0 the, right, the dots the dots do you connect them have you connected the dots <laughs> And that's really the only two real things that you really need to know about these things that you could and i think it'll help a lot in lord 2.0 and also i just want to show that this scene because okay. this scene is really cool look at oh my god like oh look at like oh oh Woo. Sir, sir. i'm so hot Chica. oh my god oh okay sorry all right let's go ahead and jump into lord 2.0 shall we the images kaicho what do they mean <laughs> Let's begin our watch along of Laura 2.0. Here we go. So I'll start, I'll pause in each each scene and try to explain as much as possible. Um So this scene is just me uh uh very pretty city. <laughs> but very pretty. This is a classroom. There's actually a lot of talk. Uh, I did I did kind of think of whether um, the color of this place should be more purple, kind of like to signify a little more kind of like a like an evening sunset, or should be this color. And I figured this color was more apt, kind of to show that I really wanted to make sure the contrast of the time uh, of of the the color here in the beginning was. I I really wanted this color here to be strongly contrasted with the colors that show up later. Not to mention. I don't know if you guys kind of noticed, but red and blue on the corners. I don't know if you guys. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There's literally nothing written on here. <laughs> I don't even remember what this was. I'm sure it was. I'm sure Koto figured it out. I'm sure. I'm sure she 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 managed to do, do whatever it was. I don't remember what it is. This is me being booty. Little fun fact, this is actually um based upon uh Ike and Anna. Just saying. These two these two these two students are based upon Ike and Anna. Just a little cameo. Um as you can see, Exile has very future technology because uh we're Kakui. Yeah. Koto pops up. Um Koto says Hey yo, uh, what the fuck, bear? I mean, are you okay, man? And I'm like, ah, shut up, Koto. You're always so loud. I hate you. Ah, disgusting. I'm just gonna leave now. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as you can see, I'm pretty depressed. Oh God, that. I'm sorry if that if that bursted your ears, but uh. I really, I really like this. I don't know if you guys enjoy this, but I really like this transition. I, I think this transition is so hot. It's so sexy. Here, here. And then... Oh. Oh, that's so good. That's actually so, so good. Um, in case you're wondering what this is, by the way, on my ear, uh, that's just my earphones. It's really cool. Um, and also, I really wanted to kind of show off like this vibe of like the blue outside and the purple inside. The colors are very much like kind of showing off. Um, they're, they're, again, like the, uh, when I did say, I did, I did mean it when I said um, the details are important. The colors here are kind of all signifying my inner t turmoil with uh, Vera and Sarah, essentially. No, you're not that tall. Hey, yo. So a lot of short people in XLA City, okay? And then obviously here is the so just just kind of just I want you to really um I want you guys to really um understand and appreciate from here the colors from red to bluish purple and then to just flat out grayscale. So I just I just want to and no bed here yeah <laughs> my air mattress didn't come home yet. So very depressed as you can see. But then there's you guys, and uh, and this is actually my favorite scene. It's 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 currently my my phone background. It's actually so adorable. I love it so much. I I I I this is just this is priceless. It's beautiful. It's just absolutely lovely. 
Also, notice how you guys are holding like the cookie jar with one hand. Like y'all, y'all, y'all be cracked. Give you guys a pet. You're like, huh? What's going on? And I'm like, hey, Villian, thank you so much for the cookies, but I'm not in the mood to eat cookies. And that's when the Villians knew. Oh my God, he's really depressed. <laughs> and you can move, yeah. I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, if you look on the right bottom on the table, there are um, a few donuts. I think you guys probably got that for me. So good job. Thank you, guys. But I am laying down a little um, depressed, as you can see. My eyes are very much lifeless here. And then... Remember? Remember from 1.0? Remember from 1.0? Ah, Yes, yes, yes. The windmills as well as the snow. Referring to that scene. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But notice though that... Uh, notice one thing. So th this is again kind of inserting back to the scene where I'm burning the place down. Yes. Notice I don't have the necklace here. Um, now you might be thinking, oh, well, that that must be uh, so. Isn't that canon that Laura will point out that Laura will point out was a mistake? That <laughs> Laura will point out there should have been a necklace. It's my mistake. The reason there's no necklace here though is actually a choice this time. For once, this this one this one's actually not a mistake. This one's for real. Um, Basically, in my mental head, right? Because dreams are basically just mental inhabitations or me mental uh, creations of a, uh, um, of of what you believe. Essentially, in my head, the necklace is my way of suppressing Sarah. But currently, in this dream, that necklace is not here. This is directly referring to the scene in Laurel Puno. Let me see if I could bring it back up. Let me see if I could. This is directly referring to the scene in Laurel Puno where I did um, this thing here. Let me just quickly show it. Here. This is directly referring to this scene. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, notice this, the, um, the diamond, the, the soul symbol changed. That's kind of just more of an aesthetic choice, not going to lie. <laughs> just don't think about that too much. This scene got many people confused. And also the BGM choice here is like fantastic, man, can I just say. Um, people thought, oh, maybe therefore, like, even though he tried to change the future, nothing could actually change. Um, not quite. <laughs> As you can see, the bars... The dress is actually the same as well. So if you guys cook, you guys should have cooked more in this direction <laughs> instead of cooking about like the, the 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 hand position and stuff. But yes, if you look, if you remember from um the previous Laurel Pano, this is the exact same outfits. This is the exact same outfits from this scene. Yeah, do you guys see that? Eh, yeah, see that? Yeah, see that? And also, if you notice in um in two point even. Um, she's not wearing this dress. I mean, obviously can't see because of the cape, but she's not wearing that dress right now. This is, this is her future. This is her future. This is her, the older version of uh, the daughter. Can you feel my heartbeats? And this is, okay, many people got confused. Like, oh my God, is she like the, uh, is she Sarah? Or like, is she female Sarah? Not quite. This is, again, this is dream. This is a dream. This is the daughter. This is the future I saw of the daughter back in Laurel and Pano. However, Sarah's just fucking with me. That's all it is. So we meet again. Yeah, Sarah's, Sarah's being mean. Now, again, because it's a dream, she's able to go through the bars. She goes on top of me like any other girl every time they see me. I'm sorry, girls, but I'm, 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 uh, I'm taken by the villains. Now, this part is a little... um. This... 
<laughs> this this part might be a little confusing. Um, it actually has a little to do with a later scene that I will connect for you guys, but um, it is mainly symbolism though. It is mainly symbolism. Um, it's symbolizing how I'm uh, drowning in my own consciousness. I.e., I'm losing consciousness. Now, you might be wondering what this is. Um, how should I say it? Um, I think I think the best, I think the most simple way to explain this is basically it's just showing that oh this this girl is evil, this, this Sarah Sarah is a Sarah is a very evil person. I think that's the best way to explain it. However, um, if you actually see Sarah's Sarah's appearance, you might understand why the eyes are like that. But there's no way for me to show you. So, poor little bear, and this is me and Sarah kind of talking together. Yeah. I love this scene, by the way. D don't you love how like this 3D animation is like so cool? Draw a picture of Sir. <laughs> this is Finana Senpai. Um, this one's actually so. Interestingly enough, uh, this is probably the only scene where she didn't really turn. She didn't really take a bad turn. This is actually just one of her possible features that I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. Um. She's not on that on that path, unfortunately. But this is just the future of her um, having a lot of cats. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just blow up my candle one sec. It smells pretty good. I'm gonna leave it there for now. Yep. Uh, she just has a. Uh, she just has a uh, cats. C cute stuff. This is. I don't even know if you guys know, but um. Aster did mention this uh, previously, but essentially, this is when Aster, um, I, I believe the, the explanation was, let me see if I can find it, it was basically him just by kind of being a, ah, here we go, here we go, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I got them explanations, I got them explanations. <clears throat> so since, uh, since Aster is a celestial slash a star, he can technically eventually burn out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So here he lost his brightness. His light source faded away. And this is this is and it explained you might be like, whoa, 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 what the heck? If you look in the back, the reason why the stars in the back are purple, but not him, shows that he's burnt out. Yeah, he dead. <laughs> he dead. <laughs> he he a dead star. He a dead star. So just remember though, it's a possible future. It's not the future. This is a scene with the Korean. This is Scarla. Hi, Scarla. Um, this is a scene where uh, she is encountering a bad person. And that's pretty much all we know about it. This is Aya. And Aya... <laughs> I, remember, I remember this scene was really cool. Let me see if we pull up what Aya said. Um, Aya explained it as... This is an alternate timeline slash possible future where Aya returns to heaven and totally wrecks the place. <laughs> so she's basically overlooking an entire uh, city of destruction um, and she's wrecking the area of heaven because Aya is a, Aya is a, a weapon of mass destruction, essentially. Okay, so... <laughs> Yeah, of course. I mean, she, if she could, she would. And I feel like she could. So she, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dang it, Aluna. Yeah, God damn it, Aluna. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that's 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 Aya. <clears throat> also, next. Many people actually thought this was Gaon Senpai. And that would have been really cool. But this one is actually Petra. Hi, Petra. Um, and people, I think there's a good reason why people thought that. Um, Petra really looks like a guy here. And... Actually, that's on purpose. Uh, this is actually based off of a, you know, I'm, I'm not going to show it on screen, but this is actually technically based off of a fan art, apparently. Just just going to say, it's actually based off of a fan art. If I'm just going to break character a little, um, whoever drew the fan art, you might, you might notice it. It's really cool. It's really cool fan art. Basically, um, um, yeah. And in, in, in Petra's lore, uh, technically she is 
um, taken in by a research lab, yeah? And Petra in the research lab becomes social enough to live with, you know, Niji Sanji. This is when that research lab didn't quite do its job and Petra didn't quite get as social as she wanted to be. Yeah. 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 But um, if you go watch uh, Laura 1.0, or not Laura 1.0, if you watch uh, Petra's lore again, you will notice that Petra is in a lab coat. And this is basically showing her in a lab coat, except she's a little depressed. This is Selene. This is Selene's, um, and also I really, I really like this scene, by the way. I feel, I feel like the dragons are like so cool. Holy shit. Can you, can, 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 can we just admit this is really cool? Um, basically this is a scene where Selene just turns evil, essentially. Instead of being a dragon rider, she's a dragon commander and she's commanding dragons to basically destroy the world. So yeah, I mean... Slay, girl, slay. <laughs> this is Hex being depressed. Um, you might be thinking, oh, well, it's, uh, isn't that basically Hex right now? Yeah. This is, oh, this one's really cool. This, this one's really cool. Um, so, Fulgur Senpai. I, I, actually, you know what? I feel like, because Fulgur Senpai really goes into his own lore a lot. Um, it, it, you might be able to understand easy peasy. Um, so Hex stays the same. Okay, so technically it's Hex kind of like not actually meeting XLA. Hex just kind of being alone, being really depressed. Uh, it's kind of an unfortunate future where she, he's not able to find the people that can help him out. But I like to just think that Hex is just his usual self. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, if you guys actually um, go watch uh, Fu Chan's or you know, Fogo Senpai's say, original song, for instance, where he really gets into his lore. Um, this is leg Legatus, is that word? This, this is the Legatus future. Legatus 505 specifically feature. It's an evil Legatus where uh, instead of, um, you know, Fogor being the really cool uh, cyborg that he is now, he he's standing at the heads of an army of cyborgs that look like him. Um, so, uh, yeah, and he kind of tortures people and, uh, you know, uh, Kind of a dick. <laughs> kind, kind, kind of a dick. <laughs> NGL and kind of a dick. <laughs> but this is a really cool scene. And this is, you know, as I explained before, and uh, um, the songbird actually just uh, becoming you know, demon oriented essentially. This is Vox Empire. Um, this is this was actually a teaser to his uh, um, you know, second outfit, which is really cool, by the way. Um, I think though, technically my, uh, my video came out after his release. So, so basically what I'm trying to say is I got to see his outfit before you guys. <laughs> um, this is kind of referring to a scene where Vox is, let me see if we could pull exactly what it is. Let me see, see. So this is a scene where uh, Vox and okay, okay, Vox and is also very particular about his own lore. So I'm kind of do my best not to, you know, um, mess it up. But essentially, this is a scene where he is questioning, "What have I done?" There's blood running down his um his horns as his arms. He's very much in pain and agony, thinking, "What the, f you know, what sort of what have I done?" And it's in huge regrets. It's that kind of scene. This one is so cool. I first of all the art is really dope, but you might be wondering what the heck it is. Um, it actually took me a while to understand what the heck it is as well. But uh, that was blood. Uh, I, I mean, no, it's ketchup. You YouTube, it's just ketchup. YouTube. Oh, my, my. <laughs> this seems really cool. Um, let me bring up what she explained. I think I think it's better for her to explain herself because this is insane. She 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 wrote a. Let me see. see. <clears throat> Yoshi. This is the council. And um, I, I think it's really only best if you guys understood uh, Millie Senpai's lore itself. I think it's better for her to explain it than me. But this, this is referring to the council. The council is always bored. And um, oh, oh, this is this is membership only content. So I'm not going to say it out loud. But uh, essentially, it's, I'm just going to quickly just simply summarize it as saying 
Um, I mean, this is really cool stuff, man. Like, guys, guys, this is so cool. This is really, really cool. It's just, I can't say it because it's membership. Um, essentially, the council's fucking with Millie. <laughs> the council's the one behind Millie. The, 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 the thing, the, 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 the thing there is, is the council. Um, and the council is essentially fucking with Millie. It's, it's the best way I could summarize it. Um, uh, let me just read one line. Sorry, Millie Simon. Let's just read one line. Um, if she keeps saving the people she loves, how does she save herself from the pain? One counsel asked. No one answered back. In fact, no one knows the answer. They're not capable of human emotions after all. And that's what the council is. And the council is basically... It's, it's, I want to say controlling. It's just really, it's just fucking with her, honestly. <laughs> okay. And that should be it for the lore, right? Yes. So that's all, that's all the little cameos. I think that was really cool. Great job, great job. And then here it becomes 3 p.m. And it's, it's just, it's just 3 p.m. It's just, <laughs> probably 3 a.m., honestly. Now, this scene was, uh, part of a lot of talk. You might be wondering, you might be wondering, number one, what's the clock there for? The clock refers to a lot of things. Like I mentioned before, the 12 p.m., or sorry, 12 a.m. being a, a new start. But it actually also refers slightly to the headmaster's powers. Um, I don't really completely know it. In fact, I don't even know if all, any of Exfoliate really understands his powers. But he's, he's, he's a dangerous man, is all I would say. He's a very dangerous person. Now again, this scene never happens. As you can see, the shadow here is blue as well. This scene never happened. Remember that. This scene never actually happened. This is just me. This this is literally just the scene. This is literally just me in the dream. I'm seeing all these futures. I'm having the burden of having to go through all these futures and trying to either save them or just even look through them. And the burden of it is burden of it is making me sad and making me tear up. But then the who do I see in my dream? It's my headmaster. Because the headmaster to me at least during when it comes to my powers, is someone I could look up to and someone that could protect me. However, remember that this is technically not actually the headmaster. Never forget that. This is a scene where he gives me gives me his eh? give him give gives me my necklace, I guess. Um. Also, as you can see, if you guys didn't notice, there's a little symbol on his coat pocket. That sim that shows that he is indeed um, at least affiliated with uh, XLA, if at all. But he is indeed my headmaster. Yes. So I reach out for it. This is probably the only time where I might mention that not having tattoos here is actually canon. And this is young me. This is young me. This is young Ver. Um, yeah, th this this is probably the only scene where me not having tattoos is actually canon. Which you know kind of makes me think more like it would have been nice if I actually did a, I did add the tattoos. But you know, again, that's on that's on me. Um, yeah, small me. Um, as you can see, my outfit is a little more country bumpkin with my little sandals, um, more traditional clothing and stuff. And the guy to write, by the way, is the headmaster. It's just a younger version of the headmaster. I'm just, I feel like it's worth making that clear because yes, that is the headmaster. Long hair, yes. Teenage hair, yes. Um, it's uh, it's me uh, about 80 years ago, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cute. I think it was pretty cute. I agree. It's a pretty cute guy. Um, yep. And then as for the color of the area, you know, the leaves are blue, the lake is blue. Um, I think it's best for me to leave that for later. I don't know. Hmm. Let's just say, ah, you know what? I'll say it right now. I'll say it. Um, there's a forest I used to go to a lot when I was a kid. Write this down. This is important. There's a forest I went to a lot when I was a kid. And um, that place was very mystical. Not entirely sure why or how, but the leaves were actually blue, and the lake was actually blue as well. It was very pretty, very pretty. But that lake, um, it's, uh, 
that lake is not exactly doesn't exactly bring the best of memories. And then whisper, whisper, whisper. Now you might be wondering what is he saying here? What is what is this guy saying here? Um, just know. This means th this this this. Let me let me just say it out for you guys. <laughs> Wake up, is what he's saying. And I woke up. Ah! Woke up to my alarm. I'm huffing, I'm puffing. Can you feel my heartbeats? My hearts, I'm beats. And I'm in a break of sweats. I'm, I, I need a shower. And this is the necklace scene. And notice that I'm actually grabbing onto my soul. I didn't even realize it, but I was using my powers unconsciously. And here is my soul. It's my first time showing you guys my soul, actually. It's kind of embarrassing, not gonna lie. You guys see, you guys saw too much. Oh my god. But yes, I'm using my powers, and as you guys know, my powers is to look into the future. However, there is no future here that I can see. This is honestly a very sexy, sexy image, by the way. Very sexy image. Still. Nothing. And there's still nothing. I hope you guys understood by now. Means that I'm still unable to see my future. Still black, still dark. And that's Lore 2.0. Hopefully that made more sense. Did that, did that help? Yeah, that's Lord 2.0 team. Did that? I mean, hopefully that cleared up a few things. Um, especially because there's a bunch of stuff out there, um, where you know it was it was my bad, obviously. So a few things that might have been confusing. Hopefully it cleared up a bit. Explained a lot. That's great. That's great. That's good to know. Um, what happens if you physically poke poke someone's soul? I mean, I don't. I never tried that. <laughs> why would you? Why would you think that? <laughs> Um, all I got this from this is yes, long haired Kaicho. Yeah, I, I used to have, um, used to be pretty. I was a pretty rowdy kid back in the day, and then the headmaster kind of kicked me back into a kick, kick some manners in me. Can I throw the soul? It's not a Pokeball, <laughs> but I'm um, hope you guys enjoyed that. I want to give you the biggest hug I can muster up. Oh, thank you, thank you. Long haired new outfit, well, new outfits, but if I get a new outfit, then yeah, maybe I don't know. <laughs> Where are those buildings at the end? Probably sleeping. It's probably uh, pretty, pretty uh, early in the morning. I'm sh well. I mean, after that, you guys did come and be like, "Kacho, what's going on?" And you guys, you guys gave me some cookies. It was good times. Oh my god, one two! Thank you so much for the aka. Came out of nowhere. Thank you so so much. <laughs> really goes a long, long way. Thank you, thank you. That's really kind. It goes a long way. It go goes to the goes to the lore three point funds. I'm throwing that to my lore three funds. Um. Oh, also, there's a new there's a new thing in YouTube that I didn't realize, but this is really cool. Um, I can actually see now who remembered me. So, cookies and thank you so much for one gift, and thank you all for the remembers. Thank you, thank you. I could actually do fan funding now. This is really helpful. Uh, but yeah. Can I see Villian's souls? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can see every single one of your souls. Yep, yep, yep. Not over the screen, though. I actually need to be, like, in person, like, close by in order to see your souls. I can't just be, like, remotely, like, over Wi-Fi, see your souls and features out. That'd be a little... <laughs> um, but yeah. JJ, thank you so much for an Ogenta. I'm manifesting for lower free point I was trying today. A <laughs> break. Um, I guess if there were to be a free point out, if there were to be a free point out, I guess it would be kind of about... Hmm, I don't know, probably... Probably about me back in the day. I suppose. Yeah, I suppose. 
Uh, wow, your powers are kind of outdated from the ancient times. Hey! <laughs> it's not very nice. Avilion's lore? You know, I, I actually have been thinking of Avilion's lore as well. Um, I, I'm actually drafting out something that I might be able to show you guys later. But again, that's also gonna be... Like... Like, I don't want to be a money kind of like asking guy. I don't, that's just not really who I want to be. But like, I'm asking you for money. <laughs> <laughs> because the, these videos are really not cheap. Um, but I feel like once I get like a little more funding and I have definitely more of a stronger idea of what to um, create, I'll definitely try to pump out these things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Kyoya, thank you so much for the super. Thank you, Kai Chill. Let us join your story. Of course, of course. I mean, you guys are always part. Of, you guys are already part of my story. But if you guys want to know how I guys, how I met you guys, well, actually, a pretty sad one, but also very. It's probably also very um, educative one. Is that the word? I learned a lot from it, and it's very good. So just don't cry when you guys finally get to see it. Mary, thank you so much for the super. Okay, billion Lord's funds. Thank you, thank you. Go, it goes to a very good, good, uh, good, 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 um... What's the word? Huh? For a good purpose, there you go. See now, Kaicho Villains will always be by your side. 2.5 of Villains Lord, let's go. <laughs> thank you, v v Kaicho, for being the best. We'll send Super Villain Lord. Thank you, thank you, guys. Alright. I'm gonna call it a day, because um, I'm also getting a little sleepy. Sleepy, sleepy. Probably gonna go uh, take a sleep. Um... Tomorrow is going to be... Actually, I'm going to ping Ike Senpai just in case he forgot. Cause... And don't forget to warning. When is the stream again? <laughs> when is tomorrow's stream again? Let me double check. Oh my god, that's early. Oh lord. I mean, uh, haha. <laughs> Fish, I put that in. So I'll be playing some Jump King. Yeah, look forward to that. Uh, Oripuza. Laon says, It was truly meaningful time getting to know more about Kaicho's lore. Indeed, very impressed by all big brain villains cooking. Honestly, you guys were really cracked. That cooking is beautiful. The coolest sexy guy. Yes, that's me. The coolest sexy guy. <laughs> William, thank you so much for the five. Thank you. Thank you. Rawr. Thank you. Thank you. Nyami with the magenta. Thank you for your amazing explanation. It was happiest time. Hopefully it helped out a lot. Um, and as for hashtag lore million, I mean, if I were to drop another lore video, I, lo I love it if you guys could see more of your furies because it was really fun reading through them all. Miss Dahlia, thank you so much for the Aka. Thank you. It really goes a long way. Thank you so, so much. Mm, thank you. Thank you. I feel like I should say like something special for Akas. Like, like how I say RAR for memberships. I feel like for Akas, I should do something like a... Uh... I don't know. What should I do? Nade, nade? <laughs> Send a kiss? Okay, but that, that, that okay, you know... <laughs> I, <laughs> I, 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 listen, <laughs> I, I think, I think that was for like more of a special kind of, that, that was a special thing. That was a special thing. That was a spe okay, guys. <laughs> All right. How about, how about I just say chew? How about I just say chew? Okay. Is that, is that, is that, All right. I'll just, the man was too stunned to speak. All right. Let me. So for today's Aka, 1279 bra, thank you so much for the Aka Chu. Chu? <laughs> and Miss Dahlia, thank you so much for the Aka Chu. I don't think I'll be able to keep this up. No, I don't think so. I really don't think so. I don't I don't think I'll keep it. No, no, my god. Mimi, thank you so much for the super for lore fun since you're broke raw. Thank you. Because I am broke. At this point I gotta I gotta sell my chews. <laughs> I gotta sell my shoes to 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 fund my lore videos. Oh my god! Changi sends, I love your story. Thank you, thank you. I I put in a lot of effort into it. I'm very proud of my story as well. Um, so thank you for enjoying it. <laughs> Living the void sends, universe cat distribution system, but instead of cat, you got tiger. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Well, right. 
Tigers, yeah. Mucha mm -hmm. thank you so much for the Genta. Thank you, thank you. I wish you all the best. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I wish you guys all the best as well. And springtime with the Vermilion Supa. Let's go. <laughs> but now, um, um, thank you so much for the Vermilion Supa. Chobom chu. You know, since I have no brain, thank you for the explanation. Thank you, thank you. Veronica Vanilla sends, thank you for the explanation. The story is so brilliant. Looking forward to 3.0 and Villian's lore. Do look forward to it. Um, if I do get the funding, it's gonna be very exciting. Billy Zenpai, thank you so much, so much, so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you. Um, I was actually just uh talking about your um lore, actually, Senpai. How um the whole council idea was really cracked and how it was really cool. And I'm also in the current um I'm also currently selling my uh selling my kisses essentially for uh to in order to fund my uh in order to fund my <laughs> lore videos. <laughs> uh, thanks for the five, Ver Verzaiki. Thank you, thank you, Rar, thank you, thank you. My no not my pisses. What the what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> My, 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 my shoes, okay? My shoes. Um, so yeah. Uh, one, two, thank you so much for another Vermilion Supa. Thank you, thank you. Choo. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and springtime, thank you so much for the 10. Thank you, thank you, Rar. Thank you, thank you. Chew and wink. They, okay, now, now you guys are asking for too much. Maybe for like I don't know, like a. All right, guys, 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 guys. This is this is not what I was asking for today. Today, today I wanted like a nice chill stream. I just called. Suya, thank you so much for the twenty. That's actually a lot. That's a lot of guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's also funny how like you're um. You're 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 a white soul as well. That's amazing. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the remembers. Thank you. Thank you. Um. <clears throat> Nyamu sends, oh, Akatopo Nim, one more chew, I just see now. One more chew, one more. Nyamu, thank you so much for the vermilion soup. Chew. Chew. <laughs> Min, thank you so much for the soup. Chew, Tatsukaru, thank you, thank you. And Daigi Uyu sends, Mr. Chew, Hipsuru Uyu, Chew. I'm 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 leaving. I'm leaving. Um look forward to the um the stream uh, tomorrow. Um hopefully I'll be able to wake up for it. It's gonna be Jump King. But if I Senpai does forget it's fine. Uh, maybe I'll just do like an open uh open call. But uh, hopefully he shows up. Lin, thank you so much for the soup. Uh, Kaicho, thank you for the June Bride VP, but the ending, whom we need to talk. Oh right. Um check out my voice pack. It did come out. It's very uh I think for the people who did buy it, they did say it was very nice, I think. Uh, they didn't regret buying it, so I think that's really all you can ask for. Um, it's also very... Yeah, it's pretty sussy. <laughs> NGL, pretty sussy. Kagena, thank you so much for Zupa. Thank you, thank you. And Yami no, thank you so much for the five rah. Thank you, thank you. Alright, team. Uh, I'm gonna leave. So, uh, yeah, have fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm a peace. So, see ya. <laughs> have a good day. Have a good day. Good night. Good night. Do check out my June Bride voice pack. It does help. And I think I, I think it's pretty good. So check it out. And I'll see you soon. Mm, not sending to another stream? Uh, sure, you know what? Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Sure, why not? I'll send you guys to... I always send you guys two, two to two, 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 two. Who should I send you guys? Let's see who's available. Who, i.e., who actually uh, kept me around um, and uh, g gave me redirect possession. I'll give you guys, I'll show you guys to Uki. Uki Senpai is doing some Honkai. I want to play some Honkai, honestly. I think, um, I think when um, Kafka comes out, I'll probably do some uh, gacha streams for her. Uh, she's, she looks really cool. Alright, team. And I'll see you soon.
my villains. <laughs>